Howdy there, folks. This is Lapidary Dave, and right now I'm going to be grinding, shaping, and polishing this piece of um, ruby and zoocyte. Not too familiar with uh, ruby and zoocyte. I believe I've grinded a small piece once upon a time. Uh, which leads me to believe that the silicon carbide on this uh, lore tone expandable drum will do just fine. Uh, yeah. A pretty, pretty cheap stone. This one piece might cost a dollar or less. I bought this at the Albuquerque Gem Show. It came in a lot that I bought from a, uh, a kind couple out of Los Lunas, New Mexico. Anyway, I'm going to get on this. I'm losing my light. I already made a video today, but this machine is so much fun. I thought I'd make another one. I um, assembled it yesterday and used it for the first time today. So I'm still breaking in the wheels. They're very aggressive. Anywho, on to the 80 hard wheel, then I'll be going to the 80 soft. Alrighty, sorry it got dark on me all of a sudden out here. Uh, I live in the mountains, and it gets dark early and fast. Anywho, this is my preform. It's grinding a lot, lot smoother and easier than I thought it would. Um, especially since it has rubies in there. I don't know if this is a low quality piece. Or if this just grinds a lot easier than I remember, or if my new um, 80 grit diamond wheel is just uber aggressive and needs to be broken in. Either way, it's lovely. Got everything out, moving on to the 80 uh, soft grit sponge pad. Six inch, two and a half inch. Yeah. <laughs> try not to get my computer too wet, but try to give you folks a good angle. It is always my goal. Let's see how bad this is. Alrighty, folks, I'm trying to get some good light. Uh, yeah. This is the 80 grit. Uh, looking pretty good. I'm thinking that this is a cheaper quality piece. Um, I'm, while I'm grinding, I'm exposing um, new pits and pox. Uh, much like the local Lepido and stuff that's around here. Um, even though it has those weird pox and stuff, I'm sure it's going to take uh, a, a decent finish, and someone's really going to enjoy this. Anyway, on to the 220 Soft. Uh, you got to find it. Alrighty, here's the, f what, 220? Yeah, probably can't see it too well, um, but this is definitely the preform. Uh, on to the 400. The stone is, if not just this cut, is a lot softer than um, 
what I remember Ruby and Zosite being. That's just the way it is in the stone world. Alrighty. Alrighty, folks, even though you can't tell, that was 400 grit. On to the 600 grit. Uh, I almost can't even tell a difference between this being grinded at 80 or at 400 dry. This is weird material. But someone's gonna love it nonetheless. Alrighty, folks, it's pretty much nighttime out here now. Uh, thanks for experiencing that with me. Huh? Anywho, uh, I don't think you could see the 600 because uh, of the lighting, but it's looking pretty awesome. Pretty uh, pity orange peel effect on it. Anywho. I'm going to hit it with the 1,000, take it to a buff, maybe a diamond paste, Zam, or something. And uh, take it inside and show you folks anyway. On to the 1,000. Some more good news. Uh, this lapidary machine that I bolted to a... Uh, wooden top with tile is starting to make less noise than it did this um, this afternoon which is always awesome uh, yeah it sounds like it's starting to break itself in anywho 1000 grit burning through this piece uh, Actually, I just looked 25 minutes, including talking talking to y'all folks. That is way too long. Alrighty, folks. That is 1,000. I am sorry you can't see it and you didn't get to see throughout the process. The change, the color change, the depth, the definition. The color play on the crusty Ruby and Zosate. Just kidding. It's all good. I'll buff this up and take it inside. Yeah. Thank you so much, folks. Oh, yeah. Let me try to make my computer work while what? Uh, so close. Okay, bye. Alrighty, folks. Here is that piece of Ruby and Zoocyte I carved. I hit it with some Zam. Uh, pretty crusty. Did not take the best polish. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, someone will enjoy this. I once had a friend, um, over here, a gentleman say he was selling, uh, like, turquoise 
um, in silver wire wraps. He went up to the gentleman and literally said, I will take the ugliest one. That's what he was vibing. He wanted the crustiest, ugliest piece. They were all pretty crusty. But he wanted the crustiest. Anyway, Ruby and Zoosite. I don't know much about it. Uh, the Rubies definitely took a different polish than the Zoosite. And from what I can tell, the darker green Zoosite definitely takes a better polish than this brown stuff down here. I've never seen this brown stuff before, so uh, maybe a lot of the crust is due to this stuff. Anywho, someone will love this just holding it, you know, medicine. This is Lapidary Dave. Hope you enjoyed. I know I did. I am done for the night. Uh, Grandma's making spaghetti. Anywho, have a great night. Thank you so much.